Well, you have a little expanded view of what's behind me. I, I, this is a picture of my daughter, uh, Carolina Salali. Um, they were number one in their high school class, valedictorians. Um, the difference is they're still successful. I know they said valedictorians get kind of like, whatever, I guess they never amount to much. I don't know, the valedictorian of my class became a, a gastroenteritis doctor, so anyway, she was awesome, loved her. Um, so, what the hell, did I lie? What, what's going on here, 90, 95 kilos, guys, I'm 211 pounds, and I'm not even five months into this thing, but have I really been doing keto? Hmm, because keto's dangerous, right? Well, uh, it turns out, I guess, Yes, but no. Here's what I did. I eat salad. I eat meat. I eat eggs. I eat natural, real food. I eat uh, all I've done. Honestly, I mean, I can look back five months on it. What have I done? What I've done is I've stopped eating bread. I stopped eating tortillas. I stopped eating cake. I don't eat pizza. I eat the crap on top, but I don't eat the bread underneath. I stopped desserts. I stopped sweet bread. I stopped not alcohol. I don't drink alcohol, but the 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 the, the, the liquid sugar, the nectars, the the soft drinks, gone out of my life. And um, I'm finishing up a, a two day fast, which essentially kind of is an alternate daily. Well, let's call it time control eating because I, I eat um, when I'm hungry. And I don't even control it anymore by time. I just eat when I'm hungry. I mean, I'll eat with the family, you know, my, my one meal. If I'm hungry, then I'll eat what we call Santa here in Mexico about 8 o'clock. Um, and the weight just keeps coming off. I mean, it just keeps falling off. I, I can't do anything about it. Um, oh, you're not eating enough. You're fasting. You're going to die. No. <laughs> I'm not. That's the fun thing about it. I have a lot of energy. Like I said, I haven't eaten anything in 42 hours. And I haven't even drunk my coffee yet. Look, look. Can you, I, I don't want to, I can't even tip it because it's so full. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you, there? you can barely see it. All right. Here's my first swig of the day. I'm like this right now, having woken up uh, about an hour, of, hour ago. Mmm. Ginger and turmeric with your coffee. Just a, a dash. And salt, of course, salt. Oh, I love salt. So that's all I lived on for the last day uh, was uh, salt and water. I uh, took a trip to Guadalajara, came back. Um, so that's six hours in the car. We, uh, uh, we have a new Mexican resident, hmm. my friend John. Yay. He's seen the light. Shh, don't tell anyone. No, I don't want you here. No, because you'll try to turn this place into the United States, and I do not want that. Um, ah, I want the U.S. Constitution. I do not want your current attitudes right now because I'm not dealing with any of that, what we call, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to deal with that. <clears throat> I'm Béchamp all the way. I'm terrain theory. I am not Pasteur. I am, um, I am feeling like I'm 20, man. Ah, you don't like 20, so what? I don't care. I think I'm 20, and I feel 20. So I identify as 20, so you can pretty much just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, don't mean to be crude there, but I, I'm just tired. You know, I'm tired of the BS. Folks tell me this won't work, and that won't work, and that'll never work, and I can't work, and, and you don't know what you're doing. And the people who tell me that, I've actually kind of looked at them a little bit. Well. I don't want to say they're metabolically challenged, but uh, you know, if I saw their blood work, here's here's about what I'd see. I'd see some uh, I'd see some triglycerides a little higher up the chain, closer to their HDL. Uh, I would see visceral fat. I would see um, I would see a lot awful lot of carbs in their life. Um, the other indicator that I'm trying to think of, and I can't, it, oh yeah, uh, I would see a, probably a quote unquote normal, but not healthy or optimum blood sugar. And they never really show you your insulin because I would see that here. Uh, but this is me being me, you know what? Hey, if you like the idea 
of uh, working your working your muscles to death, and you think it's eat less and do more, go for it, man. But when I'm, I have pretty much hit my goal. My goal was 95, ultimately. My first goal was 100, then I wanted 95, and now I'm going to let my body do its set point. So here's the deal. Uh, a year from right now, boom, what are we? October 8th. A nice not round number. Uh, so I'll go to probably October 12th. I'll start from there. I'll even push, you know what? Fuck it. Push, push it to my birthday, okay? Push it to my birthday. That's uh, October 26th. And then from there, I will count a year. And they claim, any dial's birthday if you can hold it for a year. Okay, so I'm going to hold it for a year. All right, so anyway, uh, I'll upload this to Facebook. You have questions, comments, you want to get mad at me, go ahead. Hey, you don't like something I said? Show me why. Show me a site. Show me your evidence. Show me a doctor who says this, that, and the other thing. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll not make this tribal. We'll not make this uh, visceral because I have no fat left to be visceral. Sorry, um, but we'll 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 argue the evidence. We'll 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 we'll, sh we'll show me the proof. All right, just show me the proof. Show me the money, uh, and then I'm obviously going to upload this onto my uh, from uh, from fat to fit after fifty. Wow, it actually worked. I'm like, oh my god. I wish I had measured myself. I really didn't. My friend John did. He is a great, wonderful guy. Uh, metabolically challenged been diagnosed and he took a before picture and we're going to see what he looks like after a few months so uh so how fun all right guys we'll talk soon bye